Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to yet again another insightful and inspiring edition of Inspirational Africans on Muslim Television Ahmedia. As usual, today we have a great personality to talk to, a man who has left a great legacy and has influenced humanity greatly with his intellectual endeavors. Let's find out who our personality for today is. Featuring today on Inspirational Africans is one of Africa's and world-renowned scientists with specialty in mathematics, nuclear physics, and informatics. And he is Professor Francis Ampeni Aluti. Born in 1932 at Sopon with the interest of becoming one of the world's famous scientists, Professor Aluti was an outstanding student who had the privilege of being the first to be enrolled as a pioneering student of the Ghana National College School at Cape Coast and later proceeded to Great Britain for further studies. He returned in 1960 to Ghana and became a lecturer at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology and subsequently became the founder and first director of the Computer Center as he was the first to introduce computer education in Ghana and finally became the Pro Vice Chancellor of the university in 1978. He became a world authority and an instant fame with his work on soft X-ray spectroscopy, which established the principle widely known as the Alute formalism, for which he received the Prince Philip Gold Medal Award in 1973. As a world-renowned scientist, Professor Francis Alute has held many positions as the chairman of the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, chairman, Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, chairman of the Management Board, Soil Research Institute, chairman, Ghana Technical Committee on Nuclear Energy, vice president, Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences, president, Ghana Institute of Physics, national vice president, Ghana Science Association, president, Mathematical Association of Ghana, vice chairman of the science and technology sector, National Development Commission Consultant, National Committee of Curriculum Development, Founder and National Coordinator, Ghana Energy Research Group, President, Ghana Institute of Physics, and Member, National Energy Commission, just to mention a few. He has been a consultant to several international institutions, including United Nations Organization, United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, International Atomic Energy Agency, Intergovernmental Bureau for Information, and United Nations Industrial and Development Organization. He has also visited many nuclear installations in Russia, Poland, East Germany, Iraq, USA, India, West Germany, United Kingdom, Sweden, Yugoslavia, etc., etc. He is currently the founder and president of the African Institute of Mathematical Sciences in Ghana, a center of excellence to train African students. Please stay tuned and be inspired. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Professor Francis Alote, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. It's a great privilege to have you with yeah. us today, and thank okay. you very much for it's honoring a, our request okay. for an interview. Uh, it's also a pleasure to participate in this series of uh, documentary about people. Thank you very I'm much. I'm glad that you have uh, included me in your serious absolutely mm -hmm. uh, of course we couldn't have yeah, not included yeah, you i mean yeah. reading through your life work i've realized that you've achieved so much and contributed so much to humanity i'm not sure we can cover yeah, everything okay. but let me ask in your own words what would you consider as your greatest achievement my greatest achievement is uh, the work uh, i did on uh, electron hole scattered resonance which other people call it uh, a lot of formalism and so forth. A lot of formalism. So this is what people know like okay. that, but I will go through the yes. And that is dealing with the uh, distribution of uh, electrons in the matter and also the how emission of uh, S3 is emitted by the matter okay. and uh, the atomic processes okay. that take place in, in it for this to take place. Okay. And uh, before that, uh, there's been a program where it wasn't really understood okay. how a, a S3 emission 
the, the process that lead to that. And mm -hmm. the work showed that uh, it's due to some form of uh, scattering process in the metal where electron moves to a certain level and emit radiation. How is that knowledge that you're able to develop, how is it applied today? What do people use your findings for? It, it, it's applied to understand the process of uh, distribution of electrons, which can be in the metal, we can use to transistors, uh, that is, uh, we can use to an atomic understanding okay. of process because okay. it's fundamental process okay. because you answer a question. Okay. But once that question is can answer, okay. then we tell the knowledge and this knowledge can, can be, be applied, applied in so many people. Sometimes, which I myself don't know, okay. where apprentice okay. is now okay. a, a, a well-known knowledge okay. where and people how you can people apply. Decide to apply that 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 because you can apply so many areas because okay. it's a fundamental a discovery or do work okay. which can be applied some people which I myself don't know how people apply okay. it. Okay. That, okay. That, that is the issue. You've been recognized across the world. Yes. You've had an opportunity to yes. give lectures yes. all over the world. Yes. Let's go back to you as a young boy yes. somewhere in Salt Pond in yes. the 1930s and 40s. Yes. How did your passion and science ignite? Yes, uh, I was uh, lucky that my father had uh, a store, a store pond, and uh, as uh, a young man in those days, my duty is to open the store okay. and then clean the place okay. before I go to school. Okay. He's, he sold books, he test books, okay some mm. fictions and other things, okay. and also musical instrument. Okay. As I was uh, reading or uh, doing my cleaning the place, then I'll be peeping through the books, the books okay. reading them, and there I found names like Einstein, okay. the way they were talking about the universe, the cosmology, okay. some like uh, Newton, okay. and then there was something like some called James, okay. Jeans and so forth. So I became interested. Oh, okay. I just had a word look like. So okay. I also said, okay, I, I would like one day to be a great scientist. So I, and my father also sold uh, mathematical books. Okay. But look, there's a book called Knows the Code SMN, okay. which is very important arithmetic book. And how to learn the book for But were you going yeah. to school at this time? Because I read that you actually told your father to enroll yeah. you in school at a very young age. Yes. Yes. So yes. which came first? Did you request for the enrollment or after you reading about the how did you know? No, I, I would say that uh, I wanted a one that I found the books. Uh, I just told my father I want to go to uh, school school and learn more. But, but how were you able to read the books? I mean, did you have some elementary education before no, you started? No, I was just fascinated because okay. the teachers then reading about it. Okay. So that make me, and my teachers too, okay. were also very good, at least mathematics teachers. So you were in very school good. then, while they still working with school your, then okay. the, because that's, that, As of those days, I, before I go, I leave home about six, Go to my father's store, okay. clean, uh, clean, the, and lay the books, and then uh, go to school. Okay. And as I was laying the dinner, I was getting excited, reading a book. In fact, there was one book called "Sun Lives the Veil" by BBC. Okay. They were going to do in the World War, okay. and that is a, a form of a popular science book. Okay. So I became interested, okay. and so oh, I also would like to be a scientist. Okay. And also able to contribute to this. So I told my father about it, and my father was very understanding. Okay. In fact, he was so anytime, uh, sometimes you know that I may be taking some risk, okay. but it doesn't discourage, it didn't discourage me. Okay. Then after, and I was then in the elementary school, okay. when I heard that Ankoma has. Uh, is opening uh, Ghana National College okay. for those uh, students who were 
dismissed in uh, uh, 1948 okay. demonstration. That's a demonstration against, against the incarceration the, of the, 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 the British. Okay. And so the the teachers, those the teachers, the leaders were sacked, including the teachers. Okay. And Nkrumah um, thought that uh, to, uh, to safeguard the education, he will open a school for them so that they can finish their course. Mm -hmm. uh, and the school was open at uh, Cape Coast. Cape Coast. Yes, it's a place called Makati here. But I was then at elementary school. Okay. But I just told my father that I also want to go and join the school. What, what was it about the school that instantly fascinated you? You could have finished elementary, go to fancy Yes, the fun, fun. those days you are definitely right. Yeah. I could have gone to, yeah. my father wanted me to go to St. Augustine, St. Augustine at okay. that time. But somehow I became uh, fascinated. Okay. And then the idea of the Nkrumah, the school of Nkrumah, local Nkrumah was then living in Southport. Okay. Then the people doing Nkrumah, during the time his office yeah. was that's when his, he was secretary of the UGC. UGC. Okay. He was his office was so okay. So so people talk about him and so forth. So I decided to take a go to Cape Coast and find where the new school is. Okay. So I mean I, let me just not to take you back. This was around the time that there was the independence movement. Independence movement was coming. As a young man, what was the feeling like in Gold Coast as a then? I could see the excitement of this Dunkirk coming, okay. Park Grand coming. Okay. I mean, big, 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 big people Follow coming, up, and then Chroma himself coming with his show, but so, so. So that really motivated me that uh, I also have to be a great man. Okay. And how to go through the field okay. of uh, science. Okay. And uh, in, interesting thing also at that time was, uh, is, a, 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 it was a joint provision council. Okay. All the chiefs in those days used to meet us in Southport. Yeah. So with this come, so all this coming, I searched to my imagination. Okay. And uh, the same time they come, I would like to go and follow them and see what we're doing. So okay. I became interested. I also would like to be a big person, uh, able to contribute to knowledge. Okay. So you, so you went to Ghana National College. So I then, went, so when, uh, as you said, I went to Ghana National College. And uh, in that when I went there, they were having a meeting. Four of the teachers were having a meeting. So I introduced myself that I'm from Southport. I've heard Francis that uh, from Southport. From Southport. <laughs> uh, I've heard that Nkuma is formed the school for those people. And I went to join. Okay. Then they were surprised. Okay. But it's, oh, the school was not meant for elementary uh, school yeah. people. It was meant for Secret, uh, those second school people who okay. were dismissed. So only the following year they would take first year students. So they didn't have first year students? No, no first year students. But I insisted that uh, I would still would like to. But I didn't even tell my father at that time okay. uh, that uh, this is what I've done. So you were the only one person? Only one person. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very interesting. Okay. Only one person. Sometimes I would join a, uh, some class. Okay. A, the advanced, some classes. advanced class, some okay. general, I remember. And I remember there was a case where uh, one teach one of the older students beat me because okay. I was given, I got more marks than him. Oh, wow. There was someone who had who done marks four years at school, so, and for me to me. So he came and then beat me, said that the teacher was very partial to me. Teacher helped me. And this girl, the teacher called me a second field. He was became little become communist. So, so they were accepted that. Uh, so they eventually they take me from Ghana National College. Yes. You completed Ghana National. Yes. And uh, I hear you established your own secondary school. Yes. <laughs> at <laughs> age nineteen. Before before at age of nineteen, before yeah. I went to, written I was always anxious to do something. Okay. So uh, I decided to call and Scott Fante Confederacy <laughs> School. And um, I told you, I didn't know what I, I took, and then they took me to court. But where did you have the resources? I mean, they ha where was the school located? Oh, the school, the school is, is still there. Okay. No, the building is still there. Okay. 
I mean, we have, we have, we have to take the feature. <laughs> The school is still there, the building okay. is there. So is there. like, how did you get the building at that age? Was it like a relative who decided to give I, you? I, 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 at the age of 19, yes. but I don't know how many. Maybe I went and talked to the owner that okay. we want to rent it. And they gave it to you? They gave it to me. Okay. And then uh, we, 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 we rented, I rented it. I was able to get some senior people more than okay. 10 or 15 years to, to older than the school. employed them. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so at the age of 19, you established your own secondary school. Yes. Was it a registered, accredited secondary school? Yes, not just there. People were coming. Okay. There are some of them who became uh, the former headmaster of Ghana National, who okay. called Abienu. Okay. There are somebody who became uh, a Bank of Ghana manager, okay. a chief manager called the Gozo. So it wasn't like some terrible education. It was actually oh, a good no, school. It was a school. Oh, no, no, some people wouldn't fight. The last uh, chairm a, a chairman or treasurer okay. of Le Mans CPP okay. of Peru was a student. Oh, okay. He was a student wow. of mine. I mean, much older than me. He <laughs> was so a student. So if you remember a, uh, an incident when the, the, uh, that time, that of Peru okay. was giving Le Mans trouble. Okay. Because they were making agitation. So I took you for it okay. to scrum uh, <laughs> a a project to the man okay. for help uh, troubling him okay. about this thing, treasure. And then he went and then went, went to the castle. Oh. I took him there and went <laughs> to apologize that uh, he was giving him trouble and okay. so forth. Then within a week or so then the coup came in. So after yeah. after yeah. so you finished Ghana National, you established your own secondary school. Yes. Then you travel out of the country. Uh, yes, because yeah. uh, this one was just out of the way because yeah. this one now became fancy man. Okay. Because that time there was no fancy man. For this was only school in South Pond area. This is the school for me. But when they came and my brother could not manage it well, government they took that's... over okay. and then that, that, that time went and go to Britain. Okay. And then continue my so you continue A level your A level, A level okay. there and I was doing also my first degree okay. but this another problem also came at the first degree I didn't finish it also yes and I just went you jumped the, from your first degree I to didn't your finish it even <laughs> yeah did you didn't finish your first degree you enrolled for your first degree but you didn't complete, you complete it. it I said I went to the but you jumped straight to I your went master's. to the Pure College the head yeah. of my department that I've done enough mathematics, so I don't want to waste my time <laughs> to completing. <laughs> so he got some professors okay. from uh, to come and join him, and they gave him test uh, exam, a blackboard, go to the blackboard okay. to solve some problems. You know that I solved those problems, it's okay. You can be admitted to do the master's with that PhD, with that first degree. Which had so happened, happened take in the university Pardon? before. Which had never happened in the What happened university. before. Okay. So the better person, I don't know how they were able to, how at that time I was able to convince them that, uh, but they took me the first time. You, you, you were incredibly proactive. Yes. You were incredibly confident. Yes, at yes. That that, age, that trouble, you know, yes. Yeah, what inspired such I confidence? You I know, what, know. Like a student no. who is doing his first yes. degree just yes. walks up to his professor, I'm tired, I think I'm beyond the stage, take me into yes. the master's. I don't know. When I look at it, I care of myself, oh, I got a and bit this was around what year? This was around what year? About 20 years yeah. or so. Yes, yeah. so the, the, this, I mean, this was no, in the No, about, yes, about 23. This was, yeah. I mean, you were 23. Yes. This was the 1950s. Yes. Where, I mean, there was still considerable discrimination yes. against Yes, of course, Africans. in Britain. In fact, yes. the man asked me, yeah. where are you from? I said, from uh, uh, Ghana. He asked me, what do you want to do? Could the professor called for St. Jones. Okay. And I said, I want to be a famous scientist. Okay. This I told him. And I said, but if you don't get your first degree, you may not get a job to do. Okay. And I tell you, I'm not interested in jobs. What I want to do to contribute to science. Okay. Maybe that answer may be impressed that you do research. So he took me and then uh, with the group to and then joined the class. But I passed very, very well. And when I passed well, then they, they took me to incredible. Ghana for about two years to teach. That's, yes. that's, that's mm. incredible. So mm. here you are, a young Ghanaian mm. scientist. Yes. You've come out with this great formula that mm. the scientific mm. world has you know, embraced. Yes. How was the feeling for you like around that time and when you were riding high on your academic laurels? Oh, they, they, I, I traveled a lot. Okay. 
Now, uh, travel uh, everywhere, conferences, going there. How many there. countries have you been to? Pardon? How, can you count the number of countries you've been to? <laughs> I'm oh, sure I've, been, I've been to almost all the continents. Wow. I've been to Australia. Okay. If you have organized a workshop, a conference in Australia, okay. I've been to uh, America, I've been to Brazil, I've been to Argentina. So I'm here too numerous. To uh, you too. Also Europe, I would say that, but three quarters of, of countries, countries in, in Europe, Europe have been there from Germany. In fact, Germany to Italy. In fact, I'm still a professor in Italy. Okay. I've been to Britain, I've been to. Uh, Paris uh, to uh, Marseille. So you're not you're not a great. So I've been so like many so many countries. Only few countries I never been to Sweden. For I'm still also a professor in Sweden. Okay. So, so you 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 going around the world yes. at that time. So you came back to Ghana. Yes, I decided okay. to come back. Okay. But I was given opportunity. Okay. I don't even to work in the Bell Lab or okay. the Prince, but. I thought it's better to come to Ghana, okay. and I don't regret it at all. Okay. Just around the time of the coup d'état, did you come before? Yes, so from Kuma, Kuma, the uh, Kuma coup was sixty, was February. Yeah, so. February sixty. And I, I came in, I came in uh, August. So you came back in the sixty-six. Since yes. then, you've been pretty we're, much based in Ghana. We're Ghana, but yeah. travel, but travel two or two two two. I just returned from Europe on two weeks ago. Okay. They'll be going to Taiwan real soon. So you've been part of a lot of international organizations in yes, yes, the yes. UN to advise on nuclear yes, science. Yes, in the nuclear In Ghana here, you have helped a lot with atomic energy. energy yes. and, uh, mm. So for you and for all the contributions that, I mean, you've seen the world evolve yes. you know, in your field for years. Now we are mm. in the computer technology. Where do you think science is going from here in terms of your field, atomic energy? Oh, yes. Yeah. Energy. It, 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 science is moving very fast. For there is so much. Uh, when I started, uh, this internet wasn't there. Absolutely. I remember when I. Uh, for another thing I did, people don't understand. Yeah. I always like doing things. Okay. I, I saw, when I see a problem, I don't complain. Mm -hmm. I found solution. When I came from Princeton. I found that the uh, computer, there was no course in the computer in the university. Yeah. University don't give, computer was not a pop, it wasn't a course yeah. taught at the university. It yeah. wasn't, wasn't, yeah. wasn't taught at the university. It wasn't known. You just, you, you go and buy IBM machine, and the, the IBM people will give you one or two weeks training course, and that was the end. But I said, no, this is wrong. Let us prepare a proper, Computer science, computer science program. program. Anytime they say I, I find something need, I don't want to be told. I myself find my way, Absolutely. and then get it then. So, and Prof, I mean, let me just talk about your family life. Are yeah. you married with children? Yes. Yes. And yes, uh, I have uh, four children, okay. two girls and two boys. Okay, evenly distributed. Yes, thank have you. Have any of them taken an interest to your field? No, 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 no. no, no, no. The uh, accountancy. Okay. Then well, that's maths. Maths yeah. and, yes, and computer, and computer also yes. the same maths. Yeah. Then another law, another okay. one is uh, the two years and two finance and this. Okay. I mean, so at least uh, the allotted genes are there. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Prof, it's, mm -hmm. it's wonderful. So I just want to ask you: in all of this experience, yeah. what role has faith played in your life over the years? Yes, I think uh, when I look at it, I myself get frightened. I was able to do what I'm able to do because uh, sometimes when I uh, how can I go to a professor and tell him that uh, I don't want to from Africa go to Pew College, one of the top university in Britain. They tell the professor that I don't want to go and do. I found so how was there a I have done enough that I want to do PhD, a master with that. This, I find it very strange. Why also I went to Ghana National to find the teacher that, oh, I'm not, I haven't finished my common entrance, but sir, you should take me. And I don't, I don't, I don't know how, when I look at it, I don't, I don't understand how, so it could be faith. I know that you also have a very good relationship with yeah. one of the revered scientists within the Hamidi community, yes. Professor Abdul Salam, yeah. uh, the very decorated physicist. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about oh, that yes. relationship? 
Fusa Salam was a very, uh, he was my teacher okay. at Imperial yeah, College. Okay. In fact, he taught me much of the atomic physics okay. and then uh, and mathematics okay. at uh, Imperial College. And uh, he was then the head of applied mathematics session. Okay. Then when the, apparently his uncle was one of the early missionary in Ghana. Yeah. So he became very more interested in me. Okay. So when I left that at Imperial College, when I went to Princeton and finished, the he invited me that 1967, that he has founded uh, an institute in Trieste, okay. Italy. And he wanted me to be a professor there. Okay. And I've been professor in that institute up to now. Oh wow! Uh, wow. Well, I'm just from the even a member of his, yeah. of the academic board okay. or the uh, board of trustees. Okay. He became more or less like a, a, a friend. Okay. Now became though, you know, older, much older than me. Yeah. He became my, uh, my friend. friend, and then. Well, I'm sure that professor. Pardon? I said, I'm sure he's very proud of the. Yeah, he was very, very proud of him. In fact, he was among his close there. Yes. So I mean, in fact. I've been going there for the past 50 years wow. without break. Wow. Without break. Wow. Every day I go two or three times a year yeah. to go and lecture there and so forth. Wow. The center. In fact, only last week, two weeks ago, you know, three weeks ago, um, three months ago, I was in Singapore. Okay. They made uh, a, a memorial. A, a, Thing about him, okay, in a memorial okay. uh, for his natal birthday. Okay. So I was invited. I was only African invited okay. there to go and talk about him wow. as a teacher, as wow. a friend, and this thing. Wow. He, uh, he, he, he used me to do science in Africa. Yeah. So some among the science people, he, his idea of getting science over the world. the world. I'm the one, the pillar for the African, African one. Continent. So I'm the one he sent to do everything that he, he wants any, any African scientist to represent him. I'm yeah. the one that goes and so forth. I know the family, the wife. A good time about Salam, but my late wife, the wife also was inviting my wife to the house every okay. Friday. Oh, wow. After Friday prayer, okay. he take my wife to for tea and so wow. forth. Yeah, so there, I became a my very good friend, uh, uh, Abdul Salam. Well, 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 there are very many good. communities also very proud yes, of so how he held up his Yes, so I remember. And also another thing that uh, I have an uncle, my father uncle, who also was uh, uh, one of the early Ahmadiyya uh, people okay. in uh, in, uh, in Cape Coast, South Abura South area. Okay, Abura. Okay. Abura, they who founded it yeah. in the early oh, okay. 1930s or yeah. so. So I have some you yeah. uh, feel some connection <laughs> there. Yeah, so I have some uh, in, in their wow. family. Prof, at the beginning of this program, I said that this program is not enough to talk about all the uh, things you've done. Yeah. Then I was reading through your, all the organizations that you belong to, all yes. the contributions, and yeah. I was asking myself, how is it possible for one man yeah. in his lifetime to play so many parts and give so much back to humanity? It's yeah. a wonderful privilege to have spoken yes, to you. you. And uh, we hope that the youth can learn from okay. your story okay. and be inspired by your story to also yeah. serve humanity. Okay. Bless right. you and give right. you good right. health. Thank you very and much. may your work yeah. continue right. to be okay. positive for humanity. Right. Well, viewers, that has been the very inspiring interview. I wish we could have gone on and on, but time is not on our side. We thank Professor Alote, the great scientist who has given us his time. We hope you have learned something from his story, and we thank him and God richly bless him. Thank you very much for joining us on Inspirational Africans on Muslim Television. Ahmedia, catch you next week for another interesting edition.